Obviously, I thought it was a hard-fought game. Um, you know, it's a, conference play can be like that sometimes. You know, I didn't, I'm sure Cindy felt the same way. I, I didn't think it was necessarily a real clean game. It certainly wasn't from our uh, perspective. We didn't, I didn't think we played great. Give Kent a, a, a lot of credit for that. I thought especially early on, they were super physical. I uh, played with a lot of force early. I thought they set the tone uh, for the game and uh, got after us pretty good. And we fell behind there early. I thought we were really soft early and uh, didn't respond well uh, to some of the, uh, you know, haymakers, figuratively speaking, obviously, that they were throwing. And uh, finally, about 10 minutes in, I, I thought we responded a little bit better. I thought that Freeman and Dawson made you know, played critical minutes for us and really did a nice job being NBA All-Stars in their role. We talk about that a lot with our guys. To you know your role, embrace your role, and fulfill it. And I thought that Freeman and Dawson, Marshall as well, you know, Marshall goes from a DMP last game to really contributing, I thought, uh, to, in the game today. And then obviously Jackson, I've been saying all along, you know, I think he's one of the best players in the country. And uh, certainly today he played like it. Give our guys credit, as you're alluding to, Ashley. I thought we showed great resiliency and great toughness and just kept, you know, getting stops at critical times. And guys made big plays throughout. And uh, actually to build the 10-point lead, which was really a 26-point turnaround with about four or five minutes to go. Now, we didn't execute a couple things great late and made it interesting. Uh, but... You know, I, I liked our resiliency. Usually when you come back, you can think of a big momentum play, a big shot, a big stop. And we had several guys make plays throughout. But what I kept watching, and I call it the side tron, because the jumbo trons the scoreboard in the middle of the arena. But the side tron shows the field goal percentage for both teams. And when we were, you know, down 17 to five or whatever it was, and they were shooting near 60%, I, I remember looking up there like, whoa, we got some. And then as the game wore down, wore on, and we got to that 10-point lead, which, which basically was the 26-point turnaround, I kept seeing that number get lower and lower and lower to the point where Kent State's shooting percentage got in the 30s. So I think the real key for us was our ability to get stops uh, in order to make that, that type of 26-point turnaround and comeback.